Welcome to all the classic car enthusiasts. Um, just want to give you uh, an update. The, there's quite a bit more work to do on the Mini. Uh, they've reprimed it, they've rubbed it all back down there and reprimed it from the second video I did. Um, but it won't be going into the booth possibly till tomorrow or Friday. So I'll do an update on Friday. I'll go over there Friday and see how they're getting on. Um, and they're redoing uh, two, two parts on the doors and a piece on the bonnet uh, which has to be redone so uh, <coughs> and hopefully it'll be coming back probably Monday or Tuesday or even Wednesday next week but I will go over there on Friday and do an update for the mini guys uh, a friend of mine has just been to uh, 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 Goodwood Festival of Speed and he's a big mini guy and he's brought me some mini parts back that I wanted for the car uh, one of the things he's brought me back is, is these um, uh, stainless steel strips for um, for the um, edgings on the minis <coughs> and what he, what he also suggested was which is a good idea is this, there's actually you can buy these clips that go inside these are normally made of metal you can still buy them as metal but for a few pence more you can buy the stainless steel ones and then they won't then they won't rust because there's a particularly bad area in here for rusting what we've done is, is these are obviously the ones for the uh, front wings um, and uh, for the front of the car. Um, so what we'll do is, is um, I've already pre-made them up with the old ones that are rusted inside, so we can use these as a guide to put on because they're not going right through the arches. They're actually going to sit on the arch, but it's important to get it really nice on the arch. So he's got me a set of those, and I think they're about fourteen or fifteen pounds for a set, which will really enhance the body. Um, the stainless steel uh, caps that go inside where the door handles go on the Mini, these, these are really nice and, and not very expensive. Um, and some bullet uh, mirrors. <coughs> now I might even actually get a set of these for the E-Type. The ones I have on the E-Type are, are normal ones, uh, but they don't move around as well as these do. And uh, these have got much more movement on them. And uh, They've got this extension arm, which I don't really have a very small extension arm, but it can't be pivoted here. So I might, if these work out for the Mini, I'm going to, but they're really nice, the bullet ones, look very uh, retro, it's very 60s. Um, so we'll, we'll do that. It comes with a kit, these, but if you need, if you've got the type where the door has got the uh, uh, threads internally, you need a, another type of kit, which has a metal backing plate here, which I bought separately, they're only a couple of pounds. So that's what we've been up to. Um, yeah, so the Mini, I'll, read, I'll do on Friday, I'll revisit on Friday. I just want to show you a couple of things on the E-Type and the, the XK, and uh, I'll do the next video on Friday. The other thing I bought today was, is I, I've ordered this a, a while back, and it's C-Tech, which is a 12 volt battery charger, but this is the type that, that will just keep a maintenance charge on the batteries. But more importantly, this does wet batteries, as in i.e. Uh, um, uh, electrolyte lead batteries. And it also does gel batteries, which is what's on the uh, system we have over here for the, for the bead machine. And the, the same motors that went into the uh, toy, the toy land, the Land Rover. And it, and it needs to be special for the gel because they're a safety battery. Um, the, the system I had before is just a, was a real basic charge is just a trickle charge but it, it wasn't good for the gel and this one sort of should be much better so and C-Tech is uh, a really good bit of kit all the uh, classic guys talking about it so what I'll do is I'll pick the camera up now and I'll show you uh, I'll talk to you quickly about the E-Type and how we're getting on with the um, Jaguar XK150 the, the bonnet for this has gone away to a friend of mine who's got a, a friend He's a guy I know who's got a welding shop, he's a professional welder and teaches welding and uh, he's going to do it for me so it should be a week or ten days before I get it back. And for the, the video I put up over in about going to Czechia, uh, we went up to Prague and then went to uh, up from, uh, almost near a mountain which is nearly into Poland and they gave us these, these nice plaques at the end of it and did some pictures and things for us so that will go up on the wall which I think is quite nice. And it's a nice uh, metal plaque, so we'll put that up as well. So I'll pick the camera up and I'll show you what uh, what we came across. So 
At the, the weekend, as you know, we took the, the E-Type away. Um, and the first time since I've had it, we actually had to put the top up because it rained quite, quite bad um, on the Saturday. And on the way back, it, it rained most of the time. We had to actually put the hood up. And uh, what I found was I had a little bit of a problem with this uh, center latch in here. You can see it's actually hanging down. Um, and what, what I did was I came up with a system, uh, well, I actually got it from a guy in the E-Type Club who came up with an idea for using an, an inner tube for the front. But the problem with it is if you pump it a bit too hard, put a bit too much pressure and it clips the, 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 uh, the clip, the over center clip comes down. So we had a little bit of an issue with that, but it was fairly watertight considering. Um, so this is something we need to do and it's something I need to fix on, uh, on the car. So, uh, and you can see it just here, this is the inner tube here. So what I need to do is I, n I never stuck, stuck this down because I was worried that it was a bit too tight. Um, it was a bit drummy. So uh, <clears throat> what I'm going to do now is, is release it a little bit because it's pulling too tight onto this uh, windscreen here. So we're going to release that and do that. Apart from that, the car ran absolutely beautifully. There was absolutely no problems with it. It started on the button, even as cold as it was. Um, the, the only downside with the E-Type, to be honest, I mean, it's a beautiful thing to drive. It looks great and everything else. But um, for weekends away, uh, there really is no boot space on them. By the time you put your jack in there and bits and pieces, there's very little room three days two days probably about the maximum you could go away with it i mean you could put a a chrome bonnet rack on there but it just makes it look awful so uh yeah that's the only downside of it but then you know it's a uh, it's a beautiful looking car i guess you can't have everything i think this is why the roadster these roadsters will be much better because they're much bigger the boot space okay just to put you on to the xk you can see the, the some of the panels the door and and the rear quarter has been fitted back up just to see how the line is on the on the car and you can see it's, it's looking pretty nice this is some original welds uh, which will actually go be gone over but what we're trying to do is just see how well the door lines look you can see there's still a bit of work to do there but we're only at the stage now where we where we're doing the metal work and uh, but it's it's really coming on it's looking really nice so uh, yeah, um, but all the, the finish on the bottom, and you can see it looks, looks pretty straight all the way along. A lot of work on these bodies, um, that's for sure. So, and in here, obviously, there's a rubber goes in here, a rubber seal which goes between the bolts. Um, so that won't look like that, obviously. It won't be a big gap. There'll be a, a rubber seal between them. And, uh, and you can see, actually, now, this is one of the ones that we repaired. You can see how this is one I repaired, and you can see now how that goes goes into there, and that's how the seal would fit into the edge. So yeah, quite a bit of work still to go, but so I'll be doing a lot of work on on that over the next uh, few days. But for the mini guys, I'm going to rebuild the front subframe, which has all been uh, cleaned and painted. I'll rebuild that because uh, um, I want to, as soon as the car's back. The rear subframe is completely finished and ready and it's down there underneath that blanket, that orange thing. And I'll rebuild the front one so at least we can move the car around before the engine and the uh, gearbox and everything goes back in. So yeah, that's it for tonight. But these are really nice. I think they're a lovely bit of kit. I think they're going to look great on the car. Two of those. And these, these um, stainless steel engines look really nice too. I think that will really enhance it. But these are definitely the things to go for. If you're putting these back on, use these stainless steel ones. Uh, I don't think there's a number on them there, but it doesn't appear. So I bought two sets, but you can see they are stainless. And this will really cut down on the rust because it's quite a problem area. Anyway, so, as I said, that was the Tasha Jaguar meeting, Bohemia. That was great. So thanks for watching in, and I'll talk to you guys on Friday. And thank you very much. We're up to 1,500 subscriptions. Really appreciate it. Thank you very much for, uh, and give us a thumbs up or a comment or pass it on and get somebody else to subscribe. Thanks very much. Take care. Bye for now. Bye.